Cause the fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine Hello folks, welcome to Jody Hunters TV with me Daryl. Uh, something a little bit different for you today. Um, as you can see I've put my uh, gun rest here. I've got my Air Arms Pro Sport 177 with a walnut stock. And today I've just taken delivery of this little baby. Which is a VMAC kit from Steve Pope. I, uh, I called Steve Direct. Um, they are available from other places as well. But uh, like you see, I had a one in um, a Pro Sport in 2.2, which I've not long sold, which I actually put the VMAC kit in as well. So uh, I thought I'll do you, well, if I can, uh, a little bit of a run through of how to fit the kit uh, and what I actually do with the rifles. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Stripping it is pretty simple. Got some allen bolts on the side of the stock, there's four, two on each side. I'll just quickly undo these. What I might do is actually uh, just fast forward the video a bit. Um, so you're not sitting here just watching me undo nuts and bolts and all that sort of stuff, you know. So, let you see, I'll, uh, I'll leave it running for now. And um, we'll just take it as it comes, I suppose. So, anyway, like I say, undo these four stock screws. I always put my stock screws in the toolbox, or any, well, basically any bits um, in my toolbox. There's, uh, there's no worse than looking around for all the bits and bobs that you want when you want to come and put it back together. So, right, so that's the four stock screws done, anyway. Underneath you've got two under the trigger guard. Uh, your stock screws, by the way, are a three mil LED, as is one of the trigger guard screws. Um, but you don't over tighten them. You didn't need to put them overly tight. I've seen people with spanners on the end giving it ten out, thinking it's going to keep it in your stock. It doesn't. All it does is just wreck the stock. Uh, your second. Um, Trigger guard is a 5mm Allen key. Like you see, it's nice and uh, nice and simple. Undo that, your trigger guard just lifts off. You can put that in there. As you notice, I'm just supporting the action underneath, so obviously it's the stock that's held in. What you then do, just give your under lever a little bit of a flick forward, and the stock, just move that along, will actually, I should, slide out like that. So we'll just put that to one side. Right, here we go. And this is the action with the under lever. So what we've got is if we take a four mil Allen key, just underneath there's a little bolt in the bottom of here. Into there, as you can see, where I've got the Allen key stuck in. That's just for your cock and lever. Sits on uh, on the cotton shoe, so I'll just give that a um, undo that. And that should lift off, like so. That's that one. Just fold that back. Right. You can't actually remove the whole slide itself if you wanted to, to get in and clean all the excess gunk and all that sort of stuff off if you wanted to, it's not necessary so, like you say um, right the nut at the back this one here this is the important bit this is where your preload comes in on your spring so what I've got, I've got a block of wood 
and I'll be standing on the block of wood and get our adjustable spanner if I can get in and just crack it off you're probably better with a socket but uh, me being me I've, uh, I've struggled on my spanner so like I say just take, take the load off there shouldn't be a lot of preload on these because they're they are quite um, well they didn't really need it um, as you'll see when I put the VMAC kit in um, there's probably even less on that so but like I say just be prepared for a little bit of a shock once it's um, like you see you should just be able to put a little bit of downward pressure on and wiggle the bolt out with your fingers like so and just release the pressure so that makes us here and brings your trigger mechanism out along with your sears like you see I, would, I haven't actually long stripped this um, to grease it it started twanging so like you see this is what uh, made us put the VMAC kit or opt for the VMAC kit again anyway so tip it up a little bit, we've got our standard mainspring with our standard top hat and if you give a little, a little shake and keep it over the bottom you should find inside your piston and compression tube so what we'll do is like I say, you can actually, like I say, you can actually take the um, the cotton reel off but uh, there is room for it to get inside there and clean it all off so we'll stick this back on one side again oh, little uh, nice little tip for you now um, lint free cloths available in eBay you pick up about 20 for about 350 and they're absolutely ideal for doing jobs like this because they don't leave any fibres, anything like that there we go just strip it there, there's your compression tube, I'll give that a clean out shortly and uh, there's my piston with the standard piston head I'll give this a little bit of a uh, polish up like you see I had it stripped um, not so long ago so I do actually polish these just simply because when they're machined if you run your finger up and down I like uh, the serrated you can actually hear it but that there is dead smooth so to me I like to say it's just my little touch on things I like to keep things polished up and smooth and it's like my sort of tune type of thing you know right now inside the kit when you open the kit you get the instructions obviously for those that want to do it themselves and it does say in here like see I've fitted quite a few of these now so that's why I keep opting for them add two washers to the piston ensuring that the factory fitted steel block and top hat is not inside the piston hence we block the wood so what you do is you get the piston and you tap it on the block of wood and that happens there we go those were the washers I put in to bring it up to power I was running at 11.4 so and then this is the 177 top hat that they were talking about now when you fit the VMAC kit this needs to be taken out so that's why we've got my block of wood and you tap the piston on the block of wood so ladies, you didn't need to tap it hard just give it a little it's, it's more of a, uh, a shock to get the um, thing out so like I say what I'll do now I'll uh, switch the camera off I'll give everything a good clean because obviously I don't want to leave the camera running um, while you're watching me cleaning bits of grease off stuff and 
things like that so and then uh, once I'm done with that we'll open the kit I'll run through with what you get in the kit and then we'll uh, we'll put it together and see what happens so stay tuned shortly Cause the fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine